So Envision Construction is built for the group of folks that have kind of gotten tired of the status quo of the industry, right? We're kind of sick of the way that it's always been done. There's a lot of inefficiencies, a lot of problems with the way the industry is being run. And we just kind of came together and said, hey, let's do it a little bit differently. Let's try and approach this differently. Let's apply technology in a lot of ways that we can to help support and reduce a lot of the inefficiencies. Half of every dollar is wasted on construction because of inefficiencies, because of lack of scheduling, lack of communication, lack of quality, torn out work, missed opportunities. And so we're trying to chip away at that, that dollar value to make sure that we can just provide something back. Technology's evolved a lot over the past 10 years, really specifically the AEC industry, architecture, engineering, construction industry. Traditionally construction, they take a long time to really embrace technology in general. So how does that really apply technology and how, how can we do that better? And so over the past 10 to 15 years, through my career, really, I've really seen it skyrocket. The ability to 3D model, for example, and create as built of buildings before we even get started. So we're going through the entire construction process, simulating every aspect of construction on the computer first, so we make problems and have issues. We can do that on a digital world, not a physical world, so it costs a lot less. How can we do this differently than we've always been done? And using tools like Pharaoh's ecosystem is allowing us the opportunity to really approach these problems in a different way. and gives us the tools and the certainty that we need to build these jobs a little bit differently. We thoroughly believe in the implementation of technology, especially LiDAR-based scanning systems, so that we can accurately and most optimally improve the construction process that I feel like has plagued every developer since the beginning of time. And Faro instrumentally helps us do so. The beauty of the Faro ecosystem is you have the opportunity to have a TLS, terrestrial laser scanner, which is going to give you typically a longer range, better accuracy. And you also have a Faro Orvis, which is going to give you faster data capture. So if I wanted to capture that dirt pile, I could walk around in 60 seconds, or I can do a terrestrial laser scan and get every crack out here. So it's an ecosystem of tools that allows me the versatility to really approach every problem with the right tool set. If I only have an hour to be on site, I'm not going to go and spend all day with a TLS scanning the site especially a dirt pile, for example, because I don't have the time and I don't need that level of accuracy. I just want to walk around and get an idea of what's there. I can do that in 20 minutes with the Orbis. If I want to get floor flatness analysis, I'll pick up the TLS and do that. So it really depends on what the actual final goal of the data is. And from that standpoint, Faro allows us that opportunity, that flexibility to be able to gather and grab whatever tool that we need to approach each problem selectively. I think they're both tools in the toolbox that I can pick up the right one depending on the job that I have. And having that flexibility is really what's I think powerful about Faro's whole ecosystem. Faro gives us the, the accuracy and the certainty that we need. It's not gonna solve the problems that we have, but it's gonna show us those problems early enough to where we can proactively approach solutions to them. Whereas in the past, we would find out, oh, we put the wall up wrong way too late in the game. Right now, we can basically scan as we're going and have, have a, a proactive approach to, hey, let's fix this now before it turns into a costly issue, a schedule implication later on to cost dollars to the client ultimately. Faro allows us to not make the mistakes that have you know, caused schedule issues, budgetary issues, as well as the constraints that hold up delay and frankly, cause us to miss a lot of our deliverables and deadlines. So by utilizing Faro, we're able to clean up that process on the front end with a degree of accuracy that we've never had before. At the end of the day, Faro supports us with the tools that we need to ensure that our projects are built accurately and successfully and a proactive approach to avoiding problems.